This video is going to take a look at the monitoring view for Azure Data Factory data flows. Within Azure Data Factory today, there is the monitoring view, which you can navigate to on the side panel by clicking on the icon over here so, uh, that's called Monitor. And this will take you to the monitoring view. I'm filtered down to a couple of pipelines that I wanted to look at for our data flows. So let's go into the one that succeeded recently here and we can click into the view activity runs. When you do that, you'll be able to uh, examine deeply the data flow and the data, the execution of the data transformations within your data flow. Let's click on the eyeglass icon here to bring up the grid and the graph of your data flow design. So what we're looking at here are the transformations that make up this data flow. And from left to right, we see the sources on the left, just like you do in your design environment. And we have the sinks on the right. The number of sinks that your uh, data is flowing into are indicated by the number of um, the number of circles within each of the icon cards. There is also sometimes present a um, cache data icon, so that you can see that um, this data was actually cached within Spark. So the um, execution time will have been shortened because Spark was able to cache that data. I'm on the primary view, uh, the original view, top level view, if you want to think of it that way, of the monitoring for data flow. And so what you'll see at the bottom is information from each sync. So there are three syncs within this data flow. And the way to read this is to go right to left, similar to an execution plan from SQL Server. In this case, you'll see that we are able to know that each of the different transformations within the sync, the total payment by payment type transformation, had this number of many rows, 173 million rows. And um, this is the time it took to execute against all those rows of data. The next one is the day stat sync, and this had also 173 million rows. And this is the time that took, and likewise for the final sync. So we landed all the rows, we didn't do any row filtering within this, uh, this data flow. Now if you click on the transformations, let's start on the right-hand side with the sync, you'll get information such as the partitions, the number of rows, and number of columns that may have been um, uh, landed into those destinations. So in this case, you see a lineage view at the bottom. So what we are able to see is that within the day stat sync, we have a column called day of the week that was mapped to land into that sync. And that was calculated within the transformations in the data flow. And that ended up coming from the trip data source right up here from this field here, pick up date time. So you can see the lineage of your columns throughout your data transformation. Now, actually, let me go back in there. I clicked back by mistake. So we'll go back in there. Now let's take a look at another transformation. Let's take a look at the join uh, transformation um, right here. So in the join transformation, you can see that we are joining two different uh, sources of data, uh, of course. In this case, we are joining data that is coming, that is landing in the day stat sync right here and into the vendor stat sync right up here. Now, if you uh, move over to the source transformation, you'll see the um, some additional information about the partitioning for that data. So the data was fairly evenly uh, partitioned or distributed across the different partitions that were used for this source data. And you can also, you can view that from the chart, um, the median line, as well as the skewness and the kurtosis. So skewness being how the data was distributed across those partitions and kurtosis, looking at the, the horizontal or the, I'm sorry, the vertical in terms of um, how much uh, uh, data landed into one partition over another. The time that it took to um, execute different stages of the um, data flow are uh, displayed for you here. Total number of partitions, rows calculated, and all the column information is right up here. So this gives you a very deep view of the of your uh, data flows, your data transformations from ADF. Thanks for watching.